Yay! Okay, magic. Can I kill these guys with just one hit of magic? No, I can't. And I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so, so dead. Another thing I wanted to check. I can change the weapons by pressing G. The question is, can I go back to the world gate? Yes. And if I try to enter this one again, will it be on the same place I left it? How do I... No damage taken, no food eaten, time trial complete, all barrels and collectibles found. Can I scroll through here or is it always on the top of the thing? I think it's always... No, it depends on the cursor. Okay. So it leaves it where I left it. There is an actual progression. If it is too hard, I can go back. Like it is being now. For example, if I, I'm sure that if I go to the first levels of the other two portals, it's actually going to be easier than this. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying this. It's, it's like really well thought out game. You're doing well, Gregor. Never has so much. Uh, never has so much being asked of an ambassador. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Let's see these uh, these other two areas, because I I want to see how different they are. I want to see how different the the other two areas and the other enemies are. I wouldn't go much further if I were you. Do you want to be taken as a slave too? You're taking slips? First of all, it seems to have more food so far. I've been unlocking a lot of- Whoa, 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 calm down, cowboy. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> it appeared right behind me. Oh, they are assassins. They teleport. Cool. A completely new design and a completely new enemy. And you're dead. Good, 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 good. Really liking that. A battle axe? No, it's just a normal axe. You're dead. I like that every enemy is a bit different than the other ones. Especially if you change the area. If you completely change the area, all the enemies are different. Like for example, with this one you have to be really careful that they don't appear behind you. Which I really appreciate because it's going to keep me on my toes. But I'm just facing one. If I face three or four, that might be a problem. Oh fuck! What was that attack? Do they have a range attack? Or was a close attack? No, they actually have a range attack and I'm getting killed right now. So careful with their blade because their blade actually deals range damage. Where is the book that I just saw? There is a book and I want to get it. Oh, I can get through here. Secrets! Nice. The Mount Aron is named for the God of Death. It is desolate place, but it's home to meteoric crystals that are used to fuel the teleportation portals. The druids have enslaved the local hillsmen uh, tribes to mine these crystals. Cool. Well, not the enslaving, but the story, the lore behind it. Well, after an hour and 20 minutes playing this, I can safely recommend this game. If you like it, please, please buy it on Steam or, or the console of your choice. Because I can, I can safely recommend it. Oh, there's people that want to talk in here, but there is also enemies. Can I kill 
No, I cannot kill the, the friendly NPCs. Good to know, because I, I just almost killed one by accident. Grant says that mom and dad are on vacation. Yeah, from life. The druids took all the able-bodied men and women, leaving us elders to watch their junk. It gets tired. I mean, taking care of children is always tired, so... Can I kill the crystal thingies with the spear? Yes, I can. Oh, statue with a snake. Nice. Ah, you have to stop time to destroy it, I forgot. It's good to see that there are boulders. Oh god, the, the mages are a pain to kill. And this weapon is just amazing. Stop cutting through reality. I'm seeing you there. What you didn't see was the fucking lance going on your back. Well, it's a javelin, actually. I'm really enjoying the variety of enemies. I cannot wait to see the, the third part, the, the third world. Not really world, they are actually more like realms. Okay. Careful. There's only a couple enemies left. But I can defeat them. Rabbit! God, sorry. I need sustenance. We put... Okay, any more enemies around? All these ones are dead, so they must be on this part of town. And cleared. Okay. Any secrets around? No? Why did I do that? I was going to get a full heal if I used the portal. I'm stupid, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have healed. Also, it seems that the layout of the of the area really changed. These stages are more vertical than the city ones. The city was way less vertical than this one. With which is really nice at some point because it makes you think on how to approach the enemies. Again, I'm really liking the variety on, on level design and also on enemy design. Faster one, this one becomes more powerful the longer it's charged. It can kill larger enemies in one shot or cleave through up to three foes. Nice! So if I charge the, the spell now, it's becoming faster. Oh, it actually charges kinda fast. Can I open these gates? Oh, you have to turn the lights on. Damn it. Me and the puzzles. What is the range of the spell? Oh wow, that is a huge range. for killing it, coming back. I'm seeing you down there. The new spell is really useful, apparently. The problem is that you always have to charge it. You cannot just shoot it. It is going to be useful against the... Oh, this bridge is going to blow up. Can I read it? No, I cannot read it. Okay. Yep, it is blowing up like the other bridge. You have to look on your back. Never trust that the weapon of the enemy is right in front of you. Always think that the weapon of the enemy could be behind you. I mean, you are the first ones to teleport and appear right behind the enemy, so... Oh, can I destroy this one? Yes, but I didn't get any food. Damn it. 
Oh, I cannot kill the birds. You cannot kill the birds. I was expecting to be able to kill the birds. Don't take it wrong. I don't want to damage the animals, but I also would love to get food like I just did with this one. But it seems that you can only kill the, the big birds. They run away, so you can only kill the big ones. The other one is faster, this one is stronger, and I like it, but I'm not liking a lot having to... having to hold the attack all the time. Because I was used to faster attacks, so having to hold it is kinda detriment. Oh, they... You can kill them while they're still teleporting. Okay, good to know. You are dead. What is that opening? A portal. Nice. More food. Okay, let's try and snipe this guy. Oh my god, the range! The range on this one! And it actually only uses one spell. The range. Oh my god. I'm really liking this one. Especially if I can snipe the enemies like this. Oh my god, the range. I love that. I, I really love that. Oh, and this is a way back here. Okay. And it takes you to the three areas. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now that we have seen this, I want to see the, the third kingdom. I, I want to see what they have to offer. Can I save? Is there a way to save or is it out to save? Huh, I don't know. Well, third kingdom ever would. Let's see what we have to face in here. It's a forest. So I'm getting more natural enemies. No, it was a kingdom. I forgot that it was a kingdom. They they actually said it. It is a kingdom with red knights. So I have to expect physical enemies, not really ranged enemies. Probably archers, but at least this one seems to have armor. I can stop time. Why don't I do it? Thank the good god that that Fiorne will be safe. You have no idea how good it is to see you. The Dungarians crossed the Evergood to attack us. Uh, what do you mean the fellowship has fallen? How? Oh, I guess Fiorne is doomed then. Thank you for the trust. Thank you for trusting me. God. Well, I guess we're dead. I guess we're doomed. No, not like this guy is trying to save us. No, no, it's not like he's trying to save us. So I'm guessing that I got a lot of weapons on the other side, and I got a lot of spells on this one, on the on the second place. So I'm guessing that this place will have the armors. If you charge it, it kills the enemies on just one hit. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, this one. This one is really useful. It's slow as hell, but if you are accurate with it, and if you are precise, if you aim, you can actually snipe the enemies, which is really useful. Okay, so there is a bandits. What do the bandits do? Oh, they have different color hairs. That is so cute. I like that they gave different color for the hairs of the bandits. That makes the enemies kind of unique. I, I like that detail. They feel more human. You know, now that I have to kill them. Oh, there's a book in there. I want the book. I want the secrets. Give me the secrets. 
Can I go through here? Yes, yes I can. All the secrets. Oh fuck, you're not an enemy, sorry. What are you doing here? I hope nobody saw you come this way. Do you know what they will do if they find us here? Please just go. I just want this book. Everhood used to be a prosperous nation under the rule of a king. The monarchy lasted for a century before the king Uthir died, with no known heir. One of Uthir's advisors, Avartak, seized power among the Confucian and began slaughtering those with a stronger claim to the thrones. Cool. I'm really liking this. I'm, re I'm going to actually finish this game. I will probably even finish it on stream if I can save the game. If there's a way to save the game, I will finish it on stream. If I have to play it all from scratch next time I play, I will probably do it on my own. But if there is a way to save the game, I, I will finish it on stream. Because I'm really enjoying how challenging it is, but at the same time, it feels really fair. Like, it's not cheap challenge, like some other games I've played. Some other games are just really... I'm sending you a thousand enemies, so just deal with them. This one is actually feeling kind of fair. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, go back to your posts. And you're dead. Thank God for sniping magic. <laughs> it's really useful. It really is, it really is. Oh, you have to stop time. I always forget that you have to stop time to destroy this. God damn it. I don't have enough. Am I running out of time magic whenever I charge the other weapon? No, it's just that it takes too long to actually charge the one. Oh, a portal. I'm guessing to the other side of the bridge. I guess right. Can I go through here? Yes, yes I can. I'm sorry, tiny rabbit. There is nothing in there, just a, a tent. Nice little detail, hidden on the corner. And gone. A hammer! Ooh! Is it going to be like the... like the blade, but it's level 2 blade? This antiquated weapon is too heavy for a mage to recall. It must be picked up wherever it lands, however it waits to make a prime candidate for breaking barrels. So you can use this weapon to break barrels, but... Okay, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm good with what I have, thank you. I'm guessing that if it is able to break barrels, it's also able to... There should be a third type of enemy now. We have the bandits. We have the bandits with a hat, and we have these guys. But I'm seeing attack from up there. Yeah. Can I actually break the the arrow launchers? No, with this. What about spells? No, I cannot. I cannot break them. I can only dodge them. Okay. I'm going back to the world gates. Settings. Uh, shaders. But there is no saving as far as I see. So let's science this. Let's science this. And see if it is saving. It is saving. Well, people, I think I'm going to leave it here. I've seen enough of the game. I really like it. We're going to finish it on stream. And I'm going to do a quick thoughts video on this game. Because I'm really enjoying this game. Here you have the Ambassador Fractured Timelines. Uh, the Ambassador Fractured Timelines is a really, really interesting top-down RPG. It's a, it's a light RPG because 
you have different weapons and they have different abilities. Also, welcome to the stream, Ducky. Good to see you. Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, yeah, it's a top-down light RPG uh, with uh, bullet hell mechanics. You can slow down time or even stop it. Uh, you have a lot of different types of weapons, spells, and armors. And it is really interesting on a story level base. No problem, it looks like a good game. It is a good game, it's a really good game. The game is releasing tomorrow. Remember this, the game is not available yet. But on the Switch, randomly play mobile. Yeah, it looks like the, a portable game. It looks like a really good portable game. But yeah, remember that the game is releasing tomorrow, it's not available yet, but you can buy it on Switch, Xbox and Steam. I really recommend this game. If you like uh, things like The Binding of Isaac or if you like Top Down Bullet Hells, this is a really good game. The music is good, the enemies have a lot of variety, the environments look really different and make you think on how you approach the enemies. The different weapons you have make you think uh, of different ways of approaching the enemies actually. And I like the kind of a strategy that there is behind the different weapons you have and how you use them. So yeah, uh, again, really, really thank you uh, to... Oh, thank you, Doggy, thank you. Also, again, thank you to the Quantum Astrophysicist Guild for sending me a copy of this game to try it. I really love the game and I hope you enjoy the game too and that you are going to give them the love they deserve because the game is really good. And this is the Ambassadors uh, right now. I'm going to continue it at some point and you will know if you check the schedule of the channel. But yeah. Thank you for being on the stream. Thank you again, uh, Quantum Astrophysicist Guild, for sending me a copy of the game. And thank you all for being here. So I hope I will see you on the next stream video or whatever I'm doing. So until then, see ya.